Girl Scout Troop 1234 from Crotonon Hudson, New York. And for my Gold Award, I created, tested, and published a lesson plan on invasive plants. An invasive species, like the Phragmites here, is a plant or animal that has been transported over from a foreign ecosystem. As they have no natural predators in the new area, the invasive species uses up resources, quickly taking over the area while depleting resources for native species and disrupting the balance of the entire ecosystem. My first mentor was Charlie Roberto, who he kind of gave me um, an introduction to invasive plants and uh, he showed me the park that I worked at, Croton Landing, so he was kind of like the starting off point for me. My project focused on three local invasive plants. Japanese knotweed, a hardy bamboo-like plant, porcelainberry, a choking vine that closely resembles the native grapevine, and mugwort, shoots that can quickly overtake any underbrush. My other two mentors, Katie Brennan and Susan Salmon, helped me with the education aspect of my project. Hi, I'm Susan Salmon. I'm a certified teacher and I have worked at an alternative high school and so when a Taryn came to me and talked about this project that she had about educating uh, students and working on removing invasive plants, I was so excited to get on board. I really think that you did a great job on was you created a lesson plan that was ready for teachers to use. You put it in the format that teachers use with objectives, materials, mm -hmm. and everything they needed. And also you gave them uh, resources and links to um, websites that had government agencies that had lots of information so that they could really use it at the fifth grade level mm -hmm. and all like, you even tested it in high school level. Yeah. And it was also a tested lesson, which was great. To test the effectiveness of my lesson plan, I worked with Katie Brennan, a fifth grade teacher at Pierre Van Cortland Middle School. She let me into her classroom not only to test the in-class PowerPoint aspect of my lesson, but work with the kids on the field trip portion as well. We went to Croton Landing in the fall and the spring and the kids got to see the difference between the colors, the size, the shapes from the two different seasons. Then when we went back, they were amazed by how much it had grown and were able to pull some of it out, realizing how pervasive it is because they pulled a lot and didn't get very far. To expand the reach of my project, I created a website to advertise and explain my lesson plan. I included links to download the booklet, as well as the slideshow and handout. And classroom Earth was really a tremendous answer and demonstration of her talent in really spreading the word about invasive plant species well beyond Croton. Classroom Earth is part of a program drafted by Congress in 1990 to help expand environmental education. I contacted Classroom Earth and they posted my lesson plan to their site, which helped generate a lot of interest. Now, my lesson plan and associated handouts have reached over 1,200 reads and downloads. One of the things I was really proud of with this project is that I feel like I was really able to make a difference. I was able to educate people about an unusual topic that poses a serious threat to not only the distant forests and wetlands, but also to their own backyards. 